Hey guys, want to install a custom ROM on your Android phone but don't know where to start? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you two simple methods to install any custom ROM on any Android device. We'll be using the official Pixel Experience ROM as an example, but the same process works for almost any custom ROM available for your phone. And the best part, you don't need root access to install a custom ROM on your phone. We'll cover both methods. First is using custom ROM recovery and method two is using TWRP recovery. But our main focus will be on method one since the process is almost the same for both. Once you learn this, you'll be able to flash almost any ROM on any Android device. Before we start, make sure your bootloader is unlocked because that's required for both methods. All right, now let's get started. For this video, I'm using the Poco F4 running Hyper OS and we're going to replace it with something far better, a custom ROM based on the stock Pixel UI. Now let me quickly show you if my device is rooted or not. I'll open the root checker app. And yes, as you can see, my device is not rooted. And that's totally fine because root access is not required to install Pixel OS custom ROM. All right, the first step in installing any custom ROM is to enable developer options. So open your settings, then scroll down and tap on about phone. Here you'll see build number or MIUI version. Just tap on it seven times until you see a message saying you are now a developer. Once that's done, go back to system settings or additional settings and there you'll find developer options. Open it up. As you can see, my bootloader is already unlocked. Make sure yours is unlocked too, otherwise the installation won't work. Now scroll a little further down and enable USB debugging. This step is very important. It allows your phone to communicate with your PC so we can flash the Pixel OS ROM successfully. All right, once that's done, let's move on to step two, downloading the custom ROM. So let's move over to the PC screen. If you already have your custom ROM downloaded, you can skip this step. Since we're going to install Pixel Experience, let's download it first. There are many other ROMs you can install like Evolution X, Lineage OS, Pixel OS, CR Droid, and more. You can flash any of them as long as it's available for your device. For Pixel Experience, we'll need two files, the recovery file and the custom ROM file. I also recommend checking the official installation instructions once before flashing. The process is almost the same for most Android phones, but a few devices might require slightly different files. Now, if you're not able to find any custom ROM for your device, don't worry. Just search for your device name along with the word XDA on Google. There's a very high chance you'll find your device page on the XDA forums. In the development section, you'll see all the available custom ROMs made for your phone. Just open the post, read the installation instructions carefully and download the required files from there. Before we continue, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me make more tutorials like this. All right, now that we have our three files, it's time to install the custom ROM. Also download platform tools from the link in the description and extract the folder. Inside the folder, you'll see ADB and fastboot files. Now in that folder, click on the address bar, type CMD and press enter. This will open the command prompt right inside the platform tools folder. First, make sure your phone is connected to the PC, then type ADB devices. Once you see your device serial number, that means your phone is successfully connected. Next type ADB reboot bootloader. This will boot your phone into fast boot mode. Wait a few seconds until it's boot into fast boot mode. And yes, our phone is now in fast boot mode. To double check, type fast boot devices and you should see your device connected in fast boot mode. Guys, according to the official Pixel Experience documentation, we need to flash the vendor boot image before flashing the recovery for Poco F4. This step is not mandatory, but it's highly recommended to ensure the ROM installs properly and works without any issues. All right, let's flash the vendor boot image first. So run this command. Fast boot flash vendor boot and path of vendor boot image. Just drag and drop the vendor boot image file into the terminal and then hit enter. 
Once that's done, next we'll flash the recovery image. Run this command. Fast boot flash boot and again drag and drop your recovery file. Then press enter. Keep in mind, the commands might be slightly different for your device. So always read the official documentation first. Once both files are flashed successfully, it's time to reboot into recovery mode. So run fast boot reboot recovery and device will now boot into recovery mode. So just wait for it to finish loading. And yes, we are now booted into recovery mode. Here tap on apply update, then choose apply from ADB option. This will put your device into sideload mode, which allows us to flash the ROM directly from the computer. Now on your PC, you can check the connection by running ADB devices. You should see your device listed in sideload mode. Next, run this command to start flashing the ROM, a db sideload and then drag and drop your ROM file into the terminal and hit enter. And yes, flashing has now started. This process usually takes around 5 to 6 minutes. So just wait until it's done. Now while the ROM is flashing, let's quickly discuss method 2. First, look for TWRP that's made for your device. Since I'm using the POCO F4, I'll download the TWRP image for POCO F4. You can download TWRP either from the official TWRP website or from the XDA forums. If you don't find it on the official site, check XDA for an unofficial version that supports your device. Once you've downloaded both the TWRP image and your ROM file, it's time to flash TWRP. Make sure your phone is booted into fast boot mode. Now on your PC, run this command. Fast boot boot and then drag and drop your TWRP image file into the terminal and then hit enter. The command may be slightly different for some devices, so check your device's guide or watch my video on how to install TWRP recovery. Once your device boots into TWRP recovery, tap on advanced, then select ADB sideload. This will boot your device into sideload mode. Now the process is exactly the same as in method 1. On your PC, type ADB sideload and drag and drop your ROM file, then hit enter. The installation process will take some time, usually a few minutes, so just wait until it's finished. After the flashing completes, make sure to format data for a clean installation before rebooting. Once the data is formatted, tap Reboot System and your phone will boot into the newly installed custom ROM. Alright, now let's get back to method 1. And yes, flashing is now complete. As you can see, the installation finished successfully with the status 0 message. Next, we need to format the data for a clean installation. So go ahead and wipe all the data. This will delete all the files from the phone. Once that's done, just go back and tap on Reboot System. Your phone will now restart into the newly installed custom ROM. We'll quickly go through the first boot setup. So let's fast forward this part. And yes, we're now booted into the newly installed Pixel Experience custom ROM. The setup looks clean with zero bloatware and a super smooth UI, just like a real Pixel phone. Let's quickly confirm it in the settings. And yes, as you can see, we're running Android 14 on our Poco F4, powered by the Pixel Experience ROM. Everything looks great, smooth animations, clean interface, and that classic Pixel feel. So that's how you can install a custom ROM on any Android phone. With this, you get all the exclusive Pixel features, the launcher, wallpapers, material you design, and even Google's system animations, all without any bloatware. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.